Welcome to this video on exporting references from our databases into RefWorks. If you haven't already set up your RefWorks account, then I'd suggest watching the first video in this series to make sure you've done that. We also have a separate video on using library search and how to get references from there into RefWorks. And again, I'd recommend you watch that before you watch this one. What I'm going to do is show you three databases which each have a slightly different way of exporting the references into RefWorks. These aren't all the databases that we have in the library, but they should give you an idea of what to look for in each of them. And you should find that once you've watched this video, you have a good idea of what to look for in any database that you're using. So the first database I'm going to look at is one called JSTOR. And I'm just going to run a quick search so we have some results. So if you watch the video on using library search and RefWorks together, you'll know that in there you can export a single reference and you can do the same thing on JSTOR. On the right hand side of the screen, you should see an option which just says cite next to each record. And if you click that one, it will give you example citations for different styles, although you should always check and make sure that they do match up with your department's preferred version. But what we're looking for today is a way to get results into RefWorks. So if I scroll down, you'll see there is an option which just says export to RefWorks on this result. If I click that, it will take me through to RefWorks. And now I have the option to choose which folder I want to save my references into. I have one for my essay, so I'm going to select that and then click Import. RefWorks now tells me that it has saved my document and if I click OK, I should be able to see it. And there it is, all safe and sound in my folder but you will probably find that you want to save more than one reference at once. And again, you can do that in JSTOR. You might notice on the left-hand side of each article, there is a little check mark box. And if I click one of those, you should see on the right-hand side, the export selected citations option has now lit up. So I'm just going to select a few more results. All I need to do is click the export selected citations option. And again, you can see the same link that says export to RefWorks, which you just need to click. Again, I just need to choose my folder. And RefWorks will save my references for me. And here are all my new references. So saving from JSTOR is very straightforward. All you need to do is select the ones you want and go for the export to RefWorks option. So that's a good thing to look for on most of our databases is a direct link like that. The next database I want to show you is called Business Source Complete. And what you'll probably notice when you're looking around a database like this is that there's no individual way of saving a reference. So if I look at this top result here, you'll see there's no option to just cite this or save this one on its own. Many of our databases will need you to save the references to a folder temporarily before you add them to RefWorks. And Business Source Complete is a good example of this. So over on the right hand side of each reference, you'll see a blue folder icon. And if I just click that, you'll see that it changes to yellow and then on the far right of the screen, I've now got a little box telling me which items are in my folder. So I've just added all of the references that I'm interested in there. And now you can see there is a link that says go to folder view, which you can also access from the top of the page as well in the blue bar on the right hand side. Once I'm in my folder with all the references that I'm interested in, you just need to click where it says select all. So this is just to confirm to the database that these are the references that you want to keep. Over on the right hand side, there is a four option menu and the last one on it says export. So export is usually a good thing to look for on databases when you come to save your references. I click this. 
have the export page with a number of different options. And again, if you go down the list on the right hand side, there is an option to save citations to a file formatted for direct export to RefWorks. Just need to click that one. And then on the left hand side of the screen, just click where it says save. And again, this will open a new window for RefWorks. So again, I just need to select my folder and then click import. Again, RefWorks has saved my references. If I click OK, here they all are. So that's an example of a database where you need to save results temporarily in a folder before exporting them to RefWorks. The final database I want to show you is called PubMed. So on PubMed, uh, on the side of each article, you'll see there is an option which says cite. But if you click that, all that does is give you the option to cite the article in PubMed's format. It doesn't have a RefWorks export. And some of our databases aren't set up for a direct export. So you need to do an extra step in order to get the references out. For PubMed, what you need to do again is, as before, select all the references that you're interested in. What we're looking for now is some way to get these references out of PubMed and into RefWorks. And to do that, you need to download a file. If you click where it says Send To, you'll see the last option in this menu is Citation Manager. And that's a general name for the type of software that we are using. So if I click that, it will now give me the option to create a file. And that's what you need to do. And if all else fails, you can always, on all of our databases, download a file of some kind in a standard format that can be used with any referencing software, including RefWorks. If I just click Create File, you'll see I get a little pop-up telling me that the citations were successfully saved. And in the bottom right hand corner of my screen, I now have an NBIB file, which is PubMed's format. So the extra step to get this into RefWorks is that I now have to upload the file. If I go over to RefWorks, to add references from PubMed or another database where you need to download a file, when you're in your RefWorks account, if you go up to the top bar and click the Add button on the left hand side where the plus icon is, you'll see that you have an option to import references. And what you need on this page is the second option to import from a file. And then you can just drag and drop your file into RefWorks from your browser. Or you can select it from elsewhere on your computer. At this point, RefWorks will double check that the file you're importing is coming from the database it thinks it is, just to make sure everything matches up properly. Mine is coming from PubMed, so I just need to click Import. And once again, I can pick my folder and import the references. And if I go into my folders and click my dinosaurs essay, I now have all of the references I have added today. Hope you found this video helpful and if you ever have any questions about how to add references to RefWorks, please check out our help pages or drop us a line at library at rhul.ac.uk.